Okay, what you're about to see here today is uh, the story of my uh, barn find 912. I originally thought it was a 911 and I offered 20 grand for it. And then I found out it was a 912 and the best I could do is get it for 18. Anyway, yeah, most people don't put the price in the video, but getting it for 18 in the state it's in, um, I, you know, the price is the price is the price. I'm not planning on letting it go anytime soon. And when I do, it'll be running and driving. So anyway, uh, who pays? Anyway, I got to go. Are in the beginning of it. All right, well, it's all about to go down uh, against uh, Robert's better wishes and a few other people. We'll see what's gonna happen, you know? I, at this point, it's questionable. So, just in case you've been snoozing and you're not up to speed, um, we're talking about here is a barn find been off the road for, um, since 1990. Uh, Porsche 912, and that's a 1968 model. It's missing front suspension. There are no wheels on it. Uh, I have no idea how I'm gonna get it on the back of the truck. I am choosing this car because I, I cannot leave a story unfinished. And I discovered the car, and I have developed some kind of a personal attachment uh, to the story and getting it back on the road. Without risk, there is no reward. So I'm hoping that maybe there's a reward. You know, if I get it on the road, even if I spend too much, it's that's that's reward enough for me. It's not about the money. It's about the journey. Anyway, uh, this is uh, as you're going to see. This is a quite a crazy uh, spread of uh, odd, forgotten, rundown. Uh, yeah, left for dead items. Um, anyway, uh, let's get after it. All right, so I'm here. The deal's going down. I don't know if he's going to want to see you doing that. <laughs> I don't know. He, he let me film last time I went with him. Anyway, there she is. And uh, I'll... Uh, I'll get back to you when we get the truck here. And uh, anyway, holy moly, Jimbo's car. Did we make the right choice? I think so. I already, I'm already happier just looking at it. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Oh wait. No, up here. I got. I got to get your reaction. Don't go too far. He's coming with the back. Yeah, yeah. We'll just make this real quick. I got to get some content. I'm paying twenty thousand dollars to be here. I want to get my money's worth. Tony's reaction to uh, the gold mine. <laughs> to your left. Oh, there is the GT40. <laughs> no, uh, Daytona. Yeah, Daytona. Same thing. <laughs> That's a nice dog. Too. He's like, like looking I at it. Oh, well, look what's behind it though. Dude, just right here, you're gonna you're gonna lose your mind. And there's more. This is the drop in the bucket. We haven't even got that far yet. Tony, what do you think? Are you buy, are you gonna buy anything today? I think I already bought something. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of my Porsche? Uh, 18,000, is it worth it? Yeah, I think so. From what I can see, it's not on the okay. ground yet, but from what I can see. There's a Corvette under the yeah, cover over there. Okay, put it on pause, man. We gotta get down there and meet you. It's a party, getting this thing out of here. 
We're going to drag this out first. Pull that out. Tony's helping. It's a team of people. Anyway, when we get it out to the light, I'll get back to you. These guys are very persnickety about videotaping. This is the only, we've been under here. This is the little spot that I need to fix. All this is dry though. Everything looks dry. A little, little bit of oil here. I guess that just means there is some. With, with a little help from my friends, Mr. Bundy's gonna make the third wheel happen. I don't know what, if you could have called that a wheel, but it, I'm calling it um, a jimmy rig. We've managed to find about 90% of the parts so far, and some of them are new. And uh, I, I'm just saying, uh, upon further inspection of the vehicle, I am feeling happier about my decision, because cosmetically, I think this is gonna be a beautiful car. Now, will it? Yeah. yeah. We just bring it down, set it on there, and then we'll take out the slack. Yeah. So we got to get it almost on the ground. What, the, uh, what, 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 did, what, did, what did you see so far that you like, Tony? The uh, truck? I like the GMC truck. Yep. Come on down. Watch your leg, Jim. What did, you, what, did you, what did you already, oh. what did you already oh. lay claim to? Green truck? Falcon. Yeah, yeah, I'd be a good shop truck. I'm just wondering I'm what you laid claim to already. Well, the Falcon. The oh, Falcon. no way, the Falcon? Yeah. Dude, I love that Falcon. I always wanted a Falcon. Only because I have parts for it. That is so awesome. Same stuff as the Mustang. Oh, okay, I can't wait to... Okay, so she's on the ground. Yep, all the back end isn't yet. She's on the ground, boys and girls. She's got the Nardi wheel. Uh, oh. Tires crushing for Oh, God. Oh wait, there's your parts back there, Jim. What? I'm hoping they come back. Oh, look. I'll get them. Yeah, we don't want to run. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to go back
first time first time seeing the light in how many years, Tony? 91? 30 years since it's seen the light of day. Holy moly. That's what I call a barn find right there, baby. That is a barn find. Oh, God, it's beautiful. All right, I'll see. I got to get my shit loaded and get it on the truck. Wow. I am super. Hey, well, I didn't even look for the windshield wipers. There are in that box. There oh, there are no windshield wipers. They're in this box? In that box that had the, the uh, box truck. That had oh, perfect. The uh, okay, good. Awesome blossom. I might have to buy a new gas tank, huh, if we can't find it. Well, let's, uh, we'll look around. You, got, you know, you've got other stuff to do. But... Yeah, yeah, I know. Hey, oh, boy. Keep it on the truck. moment that I was thinking wouldn't it be funny not to wash it and just put some wheels on it and the windshield back in and then sell it again just as found as a barn find I quickly decided against that and give this thing a wash but anyway that was just a little thought I had things are always worth for as a barn find fresh from the barn yeah. that, that's what Bundy that's what, what Bundy told me. He said, just put tires on it and, 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 and install the windshields and sell it as a barn find. Just fresh out the barn. Because people want to fix it up themselves. They don't want someone else's stuff. Yeah, but that's totally right. I, I, but you're keeping it. I don't want it. Yes, I'm keeping it, dude. Look at it. Look. At, did you look at it? Yeah. Inside? Yeah. Nice. Pretty, pretty nice. Paint's nice. Yeah. Engine compartment. You see that? It's just a 912. I would want a 911. <laughs> yeah, but that's because you don't... This is the first dream. This is the genesis of a Porsche. Oh, okay. Now let's push it back into that space. Let's get the truck out of here first. Oh, yeah. Yeah, how's it? Is he going to be able to do it? Jim Wade. Jim Wade, he's going to get the truck out of there. This is going to take. It's okay. When you got Gilbert behind the wheel, you have nothing to worry about. <laughs> nothing to worry about with Gilbert at the wheel. Oh, strong. Strong. Stop! Stop! What were you saying? <laughs> I'm watching. I see what I see there. Yeah. Oh, he's not going to leave because i got to pay him, so. That was sketchy. All right. I was right in it. I can see you. I can tell. It was underneath that wheel. Yeah, you got it. 
All right. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode of My Amazing Barn Find Porsche 912. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, please. It means a lot to me. I'm up to 250 now. Come on. Can we make the 300 subscribers? I don't know. All right. Be well.